Well, the conservative dream of having their own anti-woke superhero has unfortunately crumbled because the financing for this project was essentially stolen. So the Daily Beast has the story here. Will Summer writes, an attempt to make a right-wing superhero movie has ended in disaster with $1 million missing in China and a participant facing a federal indictment. Quote, I wouldn't count on us getting the money back, Theodore Beale, a far-right blogger known as Vox Day, admitted to his fans and investors in a video last week. This isn't how Beale's followers thought their investments would go in 2019 when they started contributing to fund a film based on a Confederacy-themed superhero comic book character created by Beale. A trailer promoting the proposed movie, Rebels Run, featured the character Rebel fighting a global police force hunting down free-thinking conservatives. Frequent Tucker Carlson collaborator Scooter Donny signed on to direct. Beale's supporters rapidly blew past an initial $750,000 fundraising goal, ultimately raising more than $1 million. That money was supposed to be held in escrow to secure several million more dollars in funding. Three years later, though, the cash is gone and with it, Beale's hopes for a movie. Now, I'll tell you specifically what happened to that money, but first, I just want to show you the trailer because I know you're itching to see uh, what this is about, and it's just, it's sad because this is what they took from us. All across the Western world, arrests are taking place. Neos, ultras, nationalists. A whole host of nasties. With the assistance of the Global Justice Initiative, federal police have raided the homes of hundreds known to have committed hate crimes. You will not be warned. There is no escape. The global crackdown on hate has begun. So it looks amazing in my opinion, but I'm not going to watch it because they went woke. I thought this was an anti-woke superhero, but yet you have a woman as the superhero. Everyone knows women can't be superheroes. So to cast a woman as your main protagonist, you've gone woke. Look, in all honesty, obviously I'm being facetious for those who can't detect it. Um, the movie looks like dog shit, but I've got to commend him for the style. I, I think that there's clearly talent here if he created this character. I hate the Confederate garb, but just like the design overall, I can appreciate the art. Um, but it's not going to happen. The movie isn't going to come to fruition because the money is gone. Now, this isn't the first time that conservatives have been defrauded. Need I remind you that thousands of conservatives funded the We Build the Wall project and raised $25 million to fund Trump's border wall. But Brian Colfidge, one of the co-founders of the project, pled guilty of pocketing those funds, and Steve Bannon was charged with money laundering and the wall was never built. So it was all just a grift. Now, in Beale's instance, to his credit, this was not a grift. He actually wanted to make the movie. The problem was that it was going to be difficult to find people that wanted to work with him, given the Confederate subject matter and the horrible things that he said in the past. We're talking about homophobia, sexism, uh, racist comments. I, I believe that he said he didn't support women's suffrage or implied that he didn't support women's suffrage. So not necessarily an individual that many people would want to work with. So he decided to find a financer to put the money in escrow of this business that was a little bit sketch. The name alone was a little bit sus to me. It was Ohana capital financial so um he put his money with them and that's when it went poof 
The Daily Beast continues, as Ohana's promotional materials put it, according to prosecutors, the firm offered banking to the unbankable. On November 5th, 2020, Beale transferred the $1 million to Ohana to be held in escrow in advance of future film funding. Ohana was the creation of James Wolfgram, a self-described cryptocurrency billionaire who posted pictures of sports cars that supposedly belonged to him on social media. But in fact, according to a federal indictment filed last month, Wolfgram's wealth was a sham. The sports car pictures, for example, were pulled from other websites. Wolfgram's business also sold what were billed as high-tech cryptocurrency mining rigs, but those two were a hoax, according to prosecutors with their screens just running on a loop to create the illusion of mines. Unbeknownst to Beale and his supporters, the indictment alleges Wolfgram was deeply in debt to one of his business's other clients. That client had paid Ohana more than $4 million in September of 2020, several months into the COVID-19 pandemic, as part of what was meant to be a payment to a Chinese manufacturer of personal protective equipment. Instead of carrying out the transaction, prosecutors allege Wolfgram spent the millions on his own unrelated business issues. Now, seven figures in the hole and with no PPE to show for it, Wolfgram allegedly used the Rebels Run money to buy the Chinese medical equipment. Soon after that, according to a video Bill released to his fans, the blogger and his collaborators became suspicious and contacted the FBI, sparking the investigation into Wolfgram. And now Wolfgram is facing four counts of wire fraud because he took the Rebel Run money and used it for a different reason. So pretty much, you know, a, a textbook fraud situation here. Now, Beale is understandably upset here, even if I disagree with him. He put money with this individual and it was not used for the reason it was used for, right? So he's angry and he's going to lash out. But what he's saying is kind of bizarre to me. He's claiming that this isn't just an instance of him and his fans being defrauded. Really, this goes deeper. It's a targeted operation. Mm, I don't really think so. I, I don't think that this is some grand conspiracy. I, I think that you just kind of got taken advantage of because you really couldn't turn to anyone else. So you opted for somebody who was a shady crypto billionaire, which that alone to me would be a huge red flag. But I mean, if you're desperate and you need to put this money in escrow, then what else are you going to do? So, um, you know, just on a human level, I do feel bad for Bill and his fans because they poured a lot of money and I'd imagine passion into this. And it all amounted to nothing. But at the same time, it's sad that he doesn't want to use his talent for good. Instead, he's promoting anti-SJW propaganda. And the whole premise alone of like a superhero that's fighting against, uh, what, what was it that the Daily Beast said? Fighting against a global police force hunting down free-thinking conservatives. It's just so corny. Like, if you asked me, would I prefer a leftist superhero where conservatives are hunting down the leftist for being a leftist as opposed to like just a normal fucking superhero movie, I'd opt for the latter. I don't want to see politics overtly injected in films because I feel like that just doesn't work very well. Political messages in films work when they're more subtle, right? When you're trying to drive home a point, but you prime the viewers to think about the point that you want them to make rather than just like throwing it in people's faces. So I think that overall... You know, um, this would have been extremely cringy, but it's not for me. It's not for me, right? It's not for us. But either way, the project is gone, and um, the movie is uh, not going to happen. But it seems as if Beal is working on other movies. Apparently, he's working with somebody who thinks that the moon landing was faked, and they're going to play the head of NASA in a different movie he's working on. I'm not sure if he's going to try to fund it himself or do something different, but either way, he's going to produce some gems for us. And look, it's sad that he got defrauded, but um, you win some, you lose some. Maybe you know something in the future will, will uh, work out for him, but either way, to have a relatively successful comic book series is an accomplishment in and of itself, so you know, I'm sure he'll be able to make his uh, anti-SJW propaganda piece at some point. It just won't be Rebels Run. So, yeah. Up yours. Up yours. Up yours. Sons of bitches. 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 Woke moralists. Woke moralists. Woke moralists. I dreamed I saw my maternal grandmother. She was stroking herself absentmindedly. I let her have her way. The genital region was exposed. I let her have her way.